channel welcome to all of you that are new so in today's video we are going to be decorating my master bedroom for Christmas I am going more for a not so Christmassy theme but I still wanted to dress it up a little bit um, so it's not gonna be nothing like over in my main air living area um, since it's actually the first year that I am going to be doing something like this in our room um, but I did want to do a little something a little more different a little more wintry but at the same time a little bit more woodsy um, so my idea actually came inspired by this basket that you see here that I put together so this basket is all it's more of a cream color wood toned um, basket that also has two more different darker tones then I just added inside pine cones and some greenery which are actually just um, branches that I cut off of our pine tree from our backyard same tree that I used to do my dining room centerpiece so if you haven't seen that video I'll link it down below so you guys can also go ahead and watch that one so today's video is also a collab with my friend Cynthia um, so if you haven't checked out her channel already make sure you guys go ahead and do that after you are done watching my channel over in her channel you'll find a lot of cleaning motivation home decor and lots more she has a really really good content over there on her channel i just love watching her videos i love her channel she is such a sweet person to go check out her channel once you're done watching mine and okay so for this garland that I want to make my intention is to use these branches and tie them with some jute or twine I'm not sure what this is but I think it's jute um that I had got at Walmart so I plan on kind of like looping it something like this and then just tying it so it stays um I don't know if it's gonna work out but we're gonna give it a try up on there um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just go around the headboard and just continue to tie pieces and then I'm gonna also show you guys a far view when I'm pretty much like halfway over there so you can see how it's turning out hopefully it is looking good and I could leave it up there because I really do want a garland over my headboard because I want to have more of that um, outdoors woodsy type of cozy feeling in my room for Christmas so I'm just gonna go ahead and continue tying these branches on and let's see how it turns out This is how it's looking. I already did it um, halfway. Just excuse all the pillows that are just thrown there. I had to move on out of the way so I could be able to get closer to be able to tie it. But that is what it looks like from far away. Um, I'm not sure if I'm loving it. Uh, maybe I have to finish the other side and then just see how it looks afterwards. If not, I'm just going to end up removing it but I'm going to give you guys a closer look of how it looks when you go up close as well so this is how it looks closer up so I don't know I'm gonna go ahead and finish doing this side and then 
step back and look at it and see if I like it or if not then I'll just remove it but I'm gonna do the other part and we'll go from there So fast update, I have already put the whole garland on. Um, that's what it looks like. I think I like it. Not sure if I'm loving it still. Maybe I just need to make the bed and fix the side de tables or something. And then I'm going to remove those signs up there. And well, let's see how it goes. Um, I think it's looking fine for now but like I said let me make my bed and figure out what I'm gonna do to the side stands and then take those off and then just look at it all over again and see how it's looking try a tray and maybe like add the branch and a pine cone and then like a candle or something um, I'm just gonna leave it here for now and just work around it and just let it like soak in or something and then well that soak in but sink in and see if I'm liking it if not I'll just go ahead and switch it out or just leave it without it I don't know um, so yeah so I'm just gonna leave this here for now and then just let it sit there and work with the rest um so yeah so let's just continue for our nightstands i'm going to be keeping it really simple here just trying to go with the lamp and then this where i could place like my phone at night or um my book or something when i like to lay in bed and just like read a book or something so i'm just going to be placing that there this little drawer And then just like my phone at night time or something. And then it has a little extra cubby in there but we'll just leave it like that. And same with this side. I'm just going to be placing a couple of items here. Just trying to balance it out a little bit with the other side as well. So I first started off by just placing this um, more green color antique um, clock which I think I'm actually going to lay it, place it this way and then I could just add like a candle inside, nope that won't work so place it this way and then add like a little floral plant or something or I could also do like a candle if I would want to um, and then I'm just going to add this candle here and then just for a little extra we're going to be placing that one there. 
So here is an overview look of how the side dress serves the garland and the basket is looking so far on this side of the wall and on my bed. I think I'm starting to like it. I'm going to leave it there and still figure out if I'm loving it. But let me know in the comments if you guys like the way it looks. Should I change it up? Should I try something different? Also on the basket, should I, do you think should I should leave the basket there? Or should I do more like a tray on there instead of the basket so it doesn't have the big loop there? Um, I still have some leftover branches over there. But I just wanted to share with you guys how the whole bedside area is looking. So still simple but still having that woodsy cozy vibe over there. lots of inspiration and ideas if you guys decide on doing something like this if you do get any of my ideas or use something similar please share them over with me on instagram since i would love to see what you guys have done or what you guys are doing as well um, you can find my instagram handle in the description box as well and once again don't forget to go check out cynthia's video which is also linked in the description box down below so she has a very, very exciting decorating video for you guys over there that I know you guys are going to love. Don't forget to subscribe to her channel as well and give her a big like also since that does help out both of our channels a whole lot. And we appreciate you guys 
so much for always clicking on the videos that we make and giving us likes and comments so that's all for now and all i can say is have a nice wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you all in the next one bye